and hello everyone welcome back to another tutorial so in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to use your phone as a trackpad on windows so let's go to our browser and you want to download hmh wireless i'll have a link to this in the description so let's just go to releases and let's just go to uh, we want Windows Zip, I guess. Now we will be using our phone or our tablet or whatever we have as a drawing tablet. Also, you can do this on Mac OS. I don't have Mac OS. I unfortunately can't make a tutorial for you. Now here you can just right click and you should have an option to unzip the file. If you do not have an option to unzip the file, it won't look exactly like this, but it will usually say unzip or extract. If it does not, then I recommend you go download WinRAR. It's the app I have here, as you can see, it's WinRAR. Anyhow, then in Windows, we have wireless.exe. Let's just run that. And here we go. So it's a very minimalistic interface where you didn't need to enter an access code. This is only for an extra layer of security. So if another device tries to connect, they won't just be able to use everything. The port and WebSocket you can leave just as is. You never have to change those unless you really have a special uh, reason for it. Anyhow, we can just say start. And I'm just going to allow access. Now we need to enter our IP address and then go to this location. So let me just go to Fire, uh, Firefox. We can just go to localhost and then add this here just to make sure it works. Localhost and just paste that there. And I'm just going to not full screen this just so I don't have a bunch of errors. Okay, cool. Now, if you try and basically scroll here with Firefox, it should start from top. If this happens, then you're doing something right. Now let's switch over to our phone or any mobile device we have. Now your device has to be Android version six or higher. In the future, this might change to Android version seven or higher. It depends on what version of Chrome you have on your phone. In my case, I have the latest version of Chrome, so I am good to go. But if you are running Android 4 or Android 5, your Chrome version may not be new enough to support this application. So let's open up our Chrome browser. And first we need to find out what is our IP address. Now, I believe on Windows, you can just open up your command prompt, which I think we can just Windows and R and then say CMD. Or you can just search CMD or command prompt or even PowerShell. I don't have the Windows search option. I disabled it, so I can't do that. But you could search command prompt and you should see something like this. Then we can just say IP config. And here is my IP address. Now, I will most likely not show this to you. I will most likely be hiding this in the video. But it should be something like 192.168 point and in other two or three numbers, point two or three numbers. For example, 192.168.500.115, for example. You can just type that into your search bar in Chrome on your phone by going HTTP colon slash slash and then the number so 192.168 point and then the second number point and then the number after that 206 we can then just say colon and if we go here to waylist you'll notice there's a port and then a number there that's what you have to type after the colon so in my case 1701 if I say search and I chose the wrong address, it was not that address, it was a different one. Uh, it is the one right here then, this IPv4 address. So we have to use this one. 
In that case, I just have to change one number here. And here you go. You should see something as you're seeing on my Android screen right now. I'm just going to maybe flip my phone screen and you should see something similar to this. I'm going to hide this, but the settings panel is very basic. You can choose a specific uh, desktop you want to do. In this case, there's not really anything here for me to choose. On Linux, there's usually a bit more options, but I think on Windows, it's a little bit underdeveloped. Then you can enable video to see the video of where you're typing. This is optional. And then you have energy savings, stretch mode, low latency, max resolution, whatnot. Cool, so I'm going to open up my Paint app and I'm going to try and draw. Okay, so let's see, I'm just gonna try and zoom in. Okay, that should be good. There we go, and I did that on my phone. So that's pretty neat. And that is how you use your phone as a drawing tablet. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you all again in the next tutorial.